Hey, yo, 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 peeps, how you all getting on? This is your boy, Popsy, from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about this microphone. It's the Toner Q9 condenser microphone. It comes with a heap of accessories to get you going straight off the cuff. So let's go and roll the intro. Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about music gear and reviews every Monday. Just before we move on, don't forget to check the timestamps out. They're there for you to help you navigate throughout the video. All the audio in this video will be recorded with this microphone, the Toner Q9. It's a USB plug and play style mic. It's going straight into the MacBook Pro, which is linked to my Logic Pro X. And on the microphone itself, the gain is set at around 50%. So without wasting any further time, let's go and check what comes in the box. So when you first open the box, you're met with this two-year warranty card and also a very useful user guide to get you going for the Toner Q9 Studio Microphone. So straight out of the box, you get the condenser microphone and just holding it in my hand, it's a full metal build. You also get this boom arm, which I'm surprised about, and the quality appears to be much better than the standard ones you can get for 15, 20 pounds online. You get a metal shock mount and included is the desk clamp to clamp it onto your desk. And another bonus, you get the pop filter and you also get the mic cover or some call it a foam windshield. It does come with this foam windshield, which we'll be doing some tests in a bit. You get a 1.8 USB cable to attach to your PC or MacBook. You get the manual guide and I've already shown you the warranty card. So let's go and check some of the boring stuff, the technical specification for the Toner Q9 condenser USB microphone. So the microphone itself comes with a 16 millimeter diaphragm. The polar pattern is cardioid. And as I've already mentioned, it's a condenser microphone. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. The sensitivity is minus 45 decibels. The output impedance is 2.2K. The plug-in type is a, a USB. And there's absolutely no need for 48 phantom power as it's powered by the USB. In the UK, at the time of making the video, the tone Q9 sells for around the £50 mark and in the USA it's selling for around the $50 mark. Let's go and check out the quality of the Toner Q9 microphone. So the microphone itself comes in this full metal body. So just looking at this metal mesh grill, I'm speaking on it without any pop filter now, and this is what it sounds like. The microphone itself comes with this very sturdy metal mesh grill. It tells me that Toner have spent time on the quality of this microphone. At the front of the microphone, you'll be faced with this plus button at the top and a minus button at the bottom. If you press it at the top, it'll go plus. So let me go plus here. Check in, two, three, four, and bring it down again. One, two, three, four. For. There's no way of me telling you exactly what my volume is. I have been told by Toner that the volume button does move up and down in increments of 5%. So to get to the highest volume at 100%, you're probably going to have to press plus button around 20 times. I've got it set at 50% and uh, this is what the audio sounds like on it. Also, in addition to that, you get this blue visual LED indicator. Pressing the plus button down for three seconds will mute the button. So just bear with me a second here. I've pressed it for three seconds and the audio should be back again. And let me just make sure it is actually still recording and it is actually still recording. So if you press that mute button for three seconds, it will mute the microphone and pressing it again for a short three seconds will unmute the microphone. So let's go and move on to some testing with the microphone. So this is a plosive test without the windshield. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So let's go and do a plosive test with the provided windshield. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So let's go and do a proximity test with the Toner Q9 microphone. This is a proximity test on the Etona Q9 without any windshield. This is a proximity test with the Tona Q9 without any windshield. Let's go and do it with the windshield. This is a proximity test with the Tona Q9 with the provided windshield. This is a proximity test with the Tona Q9 with the provided foam shield. 
So let's go and do a proximity test with the provided windshield. This is a proximity test on the Atona Q9 with the provided windshield. This is a proximity test on the Atona Q9 with the provided windshield. So, so far, you've been listening to the Tona Q9 without the provided foam windshield. I'm going to put it on for the rest of the video. We're going to be having this on. So at least you got a bit of an indication of what my voice sounds like with and without it. So for the remainder of the video, you will be listening to my voice on the Tona Q9 with the provided windshield. Okay, another test I want to do is just to check the difference of the sound quality of the Tona Q9 against my Canon DSLR camera, which I'm filming this video on. And now you listen to the audio from the microphone on the Canon camera. You're listening to the audio from my Canon camera's mic, and this is what the audio sounds like. Just coming back, now you're listening to the audio on the Tona Q9. Now you're listening to the audio on the Tona Q9. Do let me know about the audio quality from the Canon camera to the Tona Q9 in the comments below. So now that you've had a chance of seeing the unboxing, the various tests and seeing what my voice sounds like on this microphone, let me give you some final thoughts, but let me deal with the pros first. Honestly speaking, when the box arrived, I was a bit surprised on the size of the box because I knew a mic was coming, but I didn't know that Tona are gonna be putting a bunch of accessories in it. I didn't really realize that the boom arm and all the various accessories, I mean, I didn't realize this was gonna come in it. I would have expected a foam shield that a lot of manufacturers do put in, putting the windshield and the mic boom arm into the package did somewhat surprise me. The provided windshield is of good quality, I have to admit, and I've got plenty of them. Now, in terms of the boom arm, it's a massive, massive bonus for anybody picking up the Tona Q9. Let me put something into perspective. So one of these windshields can put you back anything between 15 to 20 pounds. And especially the boom arm, even if you buy the cheapest one from Amazon, you're looking at spending in the UK 15 pounds, in the US probably 15 to 20 dollars. But I have to say one thing, it's a lot better than the first one I ever bought from Amazon. This microphone is definitely for a beginner. Let me rephrase that. It's not actually just for a beginner. It's an absolute great bar for a beginner and I would genuinely say that because you know 15 20 pound on that you know a boom arm another 15 20 pound so in fact you'll get in a quality windshield a quality boom arm and the rest of the accessories what for a mere 50 quid or 50 dollars in the USA now that's a bargain now in all fairness if you're a beginner looking starting up one of these new YouTube channels and doing some kind of voiceovers look at the quality you're getting look at the accessories you're getting you're definitely getting a lot for your money the Tona Q9 is totally a plug and play a foolproof system to use. As soon as I got it out of the box, I just plugged it in and it worked. You're not gonna go wrong with this microphone, highly recommend it. So has this mic got any cons? And in my view, it's got two main cons. Instead of having the volume up and down button, I really would have preferred if it had some kind of dial that I could actually see what percentage I'm dialing in. At this moment, I know the volume goes up and down by 5% increments. I don't know where they are. Unless it had an LED display, I genuinely don't know. So, Tona, if you are listening, please, please get rid of that volume up and down button and have a dial which is a lot easier to visually see that where your gain level is rather than not knowing at all. The other gripe I've got with this microphone I really wish it had an inbuilt microphone to monitor the audio in real time. So if you're someone that's looking for a good quality, decent, affordable budget microphone that's not going to break the bank, then you might want to check the Tona Q9 out. And I'll leave the links in the description below. So finally, I'd love to know what your thoughts on the mic. Do leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of the Tona Q9 USB condenser microphone. And that's all you're going to get from me for today. I hope you did find the video useful today. And if you did, please hit that like button or smash it if that's something you're into. And if you aren't already subscribed, please do. And I shall see you in the next video.